Hey, what's up, guys? It's great to see you all again. Before we start exploring, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button to join us on more journeys. This time, we decided to go to Nagoya, a major city in Japan, located 186.2 kilometers away from Osaka and 342.7 kilometers away from Tokyo. Today, we will explore the Nine Hours Capsule Hotel, which has a lot of foreign tourists staying here just like us. As we enter the hotel, there's a check-in counter, a cafe counter, and tables and chairs where guests can enjoy coffee. They offer many types of coffee at different prices, with detailed descriptions of each. I have my reservation code, and I'm just waiting for my turn to check in. The check-in time here is 2 p.m., and the check-out time is 10 a.m. The last time we tried out the capsule hotel in Saitama and the book hotel in Osaka, it was amazing, and we had a great time. You can watch the videos in the description below. We really enjoyed it, and now we want to experience something like that again in different place. When staying here, guests are not allowed to eat, drink, or talk on the phone in the room. And most importantly, they cannot bring pets. The building had 10 floors, with separate rooms, lockers, and bathrooms for men and women. There are two private elevators, and we will use QR code to access them. After checking in, I will head up to the third floor to get my stuff from the locker. A map of this floor shows the location of the closet and bathrooms. On the 4th, 5th and 6th floors are where the personal lockers for all female rooms are located, and my room is 619. I will use the QR code to unlock it. The room has a bag of personal belongings in the closet with two hooks and pre-designed hook above. Come with me to my room. It's room number 619, which means it's situated on the 6th floor. As we step into the entrance near the elevator, we will find the segregated trash cans and the floor plan just like on the 3rd floor. I'm going to sweat my shoes for slippers once I get to my room. Wow. Impressive. There are 26 rooms in total. Here it is! The interior of the room is minimally decorated, providing just enough space for a comfortable sleep. This is the way up for those in the upper bed, and luckily I was on the bottom. <laughs> a soft and tidy blanket and a pillow specifically designed to fit the curvature of the room are provided. Additionally, a button positioned above the bed can be used to adjust the lighting of the lamp. Adjacent to it, there is a power outlet and the USB charging station. It is also equipped with a fire alarm mounted on the ceiling. This is the view can be seen from the inside. The entrance to the room has a curtain that serves as a door, which you can use when you need your own space. Now, let's see what's inside the personal bag.
towel, smaller towel, and another towel. So total we have three towels. A set of dark pajamas. And finally, a set of mini toothbrushes and toothpaste. I'm now heading up to the 10th floor, the top floor, and it's a common area. Here, you can work or see the city from above. It's a perfect spot for a great view. I will take a shower and check out the women's bath on the 3rd floor. There are around 8 wash basins in this area, with hand sanitizer and paper towels. To the right, there are approximately 8 bathrooms. The inside of the bathroom is quite spacious and is divided into two compartments. The outer area is used for storage, while the inner area is for bathing. There are shower gel, shampoo, and hair conditioner provided which is great. However, I forgot to bring my comb because I thought they would have one here for me to use. Mm. Now, I will change my shoes and go out to find some food. The hotel is located near some great restaurants. We can see the night owl sign from a distance. It is remarkable. The hotel's front in the evening is very romantic. That's all we have for you today. Hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our content good. Thank you for watching our video. On to the next one.